for their family-owned movie theaters when he was young. This experience taught Charlie Rufino not only to dream big, but to also make his fantasy into reality. Good afternoon, Charlie. Thank you for being here at the show called Self Made. We really wanted to hear your story. Um, can you please share us your childhood? Yeah, thanks, Rebecca. Well, you know, my childhood, I came from a family where we own a string of movie houses. So my first job was to inspect the movie houses. My summer job, so, so I'd go around, check the bathrooms, check the theater. Mm -hmm. Then I go and eat the hamburger in Butika Boy at that time. The best hamburger in the school. <laughs> the hard part was the afternoon. Then he says, okay, now you have to sort out the tickets. You want complimentary tickets. Mm -hmm. So that's harder work for us. But we got paid a eh? free show, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I was quite uh, happy to do that. But at uh, the end of the day, the family would uh, very much want everybody to be involved. So I got into real estate because everybody was busy. So when they decided to do something in Makati, I was still studying. They already sent me already to, to look at property, to make studies, etc. So I was very happy to have hands-on experience from my father. He was the builder in the group. He brings me to the hardware store. Of course, I was very bored in the hardware store. I'd rather play golf or go to the movies. But he would you know, bargain all the time, you know, buy this thing here for this price. But at the end of the day, I'm doing the same thing to my own kids now. They have to go with me for every project. And hopefully, some of that they like. If they don't like it, they can look, do something else. But, Try to get somebody to follow my footsteps. Luckily, two of my kids are following my footsteps. Were your uh, parents were tough parents? No, I. They made me earn everything. In, in other words, they. I was there. They didn't make. Uh, a, a, well, they said, okay, your education. We have to pay for it, all right. But at the end of the day, if you want anything special, then, mm -hmm. then you have to work for it. During this time, what do you really want to be? Well, at that time, I, I love cars, so. What I wanted to do was <laughs> drive nice cars. But then, of course, uh, my father said, if you like cars, then you have to buy it. You better earn some money and, and do that. So I used to buy a car, then I'll fix it up, then I'll sell it to somebody who likes that car, maybe buy something else a little bit more expensive. Just, as they call trading up. No? So that was my, uh, my something that got me up in the morning. I look forward to that. Are you um, uh, considered a very competitive kid? Ah, yeah, very. <laughs> Well, um, I suppose uh, when you're young, you're always very competitive, but sometimes you have to temper it with the uh, long-term wisdom. I, I got a lot of uh, that from my, my sister, Marixi. She's very much got a very long-term vision. So mm -hmm. sometimes when you're too competitive, uh, you don't get the deal done. So sometimes uh, leave some, uh, they say, leave some marbles in the table because it has to be win-win. So during that time, uh, who really inspired you? Well, my father was really great. Uh, a person to inspire me. I, I, he was very well respected in this industry and he always said uh, to all the entire family, you know, your, your, your name is the most important thing. So don't ever affect that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did your father ever see your success? No, that's my big regret because um, I was just starting. He, he passed away when I was about 22. Yeah, so I was so yeah. very young. I was just starting. So what's the best message that you learned from your father that father. you can be proud of? Yeah. Well, he always tells me something, you know. Uh, Charlie says, you know, you can expect so much from something, but unless you go there and know for yourself it's happening. If you don't inspect, don't expect that it will not happen. Don't expect that it will happen the way you want if you don't inspect yourself. So I always saying, even to my son, I say, it's not what you expect, it's what you inspect that happens. So, how you connect with children right now? Because during <coughs> our parents' time and now, totally different. Yes. So, how you work with them? I, I think with, with children, you one thing is to tell them what to do. One thing is to 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 live your life by example. So they, 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 it's what they see, naman, eh, that they follow. It's not what they hear, mm -hmm. and they observe, and they will be what they observe you doing, rather than what you're telling them or what to do. So by example, it's the same. It's been our vision to make Philippines first world. What's the chance for Philippines? Oh, I think we're into a fantastic cycle now, you know. We're, we're getting to where we're very confident of ourselves, you know. When we travel abroad and we say we're from the Philippines, it's not like before. They look at mm -hmm. you and say, oh, you're from the Philippines. They, all, they know all the problems. But I think now we can stand proud, mm -hmm. high growth, mm -hmm. great story. We're so different from the other countries in the sense that we're the, the best story now in terms of investment. Everything changed in Philippines. 
Yeah, well. So what are the things that we should keep as Filipinos well, that we shouldn't change? Well, I, I think that the respect, because I, I, I go abroad and uh, little things like they, they don't even pull the chair for somebody who's older or a parent or what, you know. You don't even open the door for somebody, you know. There's, for them, it's like a, you're just like anybody else. Well, here we have that thing, you know, you, you, you raised me, you paid for my education, I owe you something. If there's something that you want to, to really leave us for a legacy, what is it? Well, I suppose we, for me, uh, the family name and harmony, mm -hmm. we want that through the generations. You know, you, you can talk about doing so many things, but if you don't have harmony, it's not going to happen. So what's your best advice uh, to the parents for them to really build that relationship for their children also? Because that's one thing that's really missing now. Yeah, I think you to do what you say, right? You cannot tell your kids one thing and do something else because they'll see the disconnect. So I think you have to lead by example. And how about the children? What's your best advice for children for them to work also with their parents? Well, I think you, you just have to tell them, you know, you have to earn things on your own accord. Then you know your true value. Mm -hmm. If things are given to you, you take it very lightly. And, and you won't be a success. Because it's really when you dig deep into yourself and, and come out with something and then make good you go from that success to the next success so it's very good mm -hmm. the confidence is so important for the young ones mm -hmm. to be the best individual what's your best advice don't accept mediocrity you know uh, mm -hmm. you really have to uh, get better mm -hmm. try to improve mm -hmm. uh, stretch the envelope you get out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. yeah. go to the next then you'll be surprised. After that, you can go further and further and yeah. stretch yourself. At the end of the day, to make life really worth it for you, you have to do the thing that you love to do best. And, and then you, and if you do it, if you love what you're doing, you're always doing it uh, day in and day out, and you're happy, and the people around you are happy. That's so true. Thank you, okay, Charlie. Every success has its struggles. Every dream has its trials and tests. Listen to their stories. Because if they did it, you can also be called self-made.